Sam Short here from Short Marine, and welcome to the 2021 Grady White Short Marine Shootout. My name's James, and uh, apart from fishing, I uh, run a recruitment firm. My name's Michael, and I run a building company. Oh, my name's Rod Finlay. It's the Short Marine Grady White Shootout. Now I fish a fair few tournaments in my day, but this is the first time I fish the uh, Grady White Shootout, the 2021 Shootout. My name's Peter Mason. Um, I happily joined the shorts on a day like today, and I've uh, been a banker in my time, and I'm a director of public companies now. Uh, my name's John Courtney. I work in property. Today we're at the uh, Short Marine um, Grady White Shootout. Uh, fishing tournament. They started it two years ago. Yeah, I wasn't able to make the first one because I was overseas. I was actually fishing in Fiji at the time. So I thought this is a great opportunity to go out and uh, give it a crack and see what it's all about. This, this is the second shootout event that, that we've hosted now and we got really good feedback after the, after the first one and we don't do it for any other reason other than to, you know, to, to, bring, to bring our community together. And, you know, all of our sponsors, which, which, which you know, have very thankfully donated all the prizes which have, which have made the event and made the competition what it was, but also just to bring all the owners together in an environment where they're able to, you know, socialise and, and, and relax away from their day-to-day their -day lives and, and, and stressful environments and just, just enjoy what, what, what boating's all about. Well, we left the jetty here at... Uh... Uh, 6.30 and all the boats met out in the middle of the head at 7 o'clock and sort of milled around not knowing what to do I think but we had a pretty fair idea where we were going and uh, at 7.10 a whistle blasted and off we went. So we ended up having 24 boats registered for the event and, and we're there at the start line this morning there was 80 people out there fishing. Uh, yeah. uh, 15 is Rod Finlay. Vessel number 15, Rod Finlay. Uh, we're just trialling puppet seven, with seven on board, all good. Thanks Rod. And it was a really good day, I mean it's, it's, it's some of the key highlights which, which really showcase the, the diversity of fishing that we have, um, you know, just on our doorstep here in Sydney, but we had, you know, we had, we had, we had marlin caught. Yeah, so we're very lucky today, um, we had a unique day in catching two people their first marlin. We had uh, John caught his first marlin, a small sort of 20 kilo odd for 15, 20 kilo odd black marlin and Cam, who's done a huge amount of work on the boat. It was great to see, catch a uh, 35, 40 kilo black marlin. First marlin today. Yeah, thank you. I think yeah, we have you. a little cheese to that before yeah. we start. Yeah, thanks. It's good. Tell me about it. Oh, it was only a small one, but uh, I think we were a bit worried there wasn't going to be a lot around today. We went out to one of the fads further down, Port Hacking, and uh, um, first thing off and into it. We end up with two, two black marlin, one, one small, about sort of 20 kilos, and one about 60 kilos or 45, 50 kilos maybe, depending on who you ask on the boat on the day. Just saying to Sam that um, I think I was the, uh, the best uh, bait assist because uh, every time I chucked we caught a marlin, so I think they'll want to take me back out again, but I might need some uh, seasick tablets next time. Uh, we caught a bunch of dolphin fish probably seven or eight dolphin fish and a bunch of striped tunas. All the life was concentrated on the temperature break, so um, it was a lucky dip of what you got your bite off at the time. Yeah, Roddy and Eugene, they could, um, um, very skilled guys, so I think they knew they knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, even the other, the other couple of guys are on the boat, you know, set the lures up really well, knew exactly um, you know, what to do where. Uh, it, was, it was really good for me to get some experience seeing how, how to do it. Today is really about just bringing together, you know, the, the, the short marine and, and particularly in this instance, the Grady White family and, and just getting everyone together and, and, and showing them the, you know, the type of enjoyment and, and things that can come from, from owning a boat. And we know, we know, the, you know the role that we play in facilitating that and, and making sure that, that, that uh, you know, people and our owners are getting the most use and the most enjoyment out of their boat. And An absolute weapon of a boat. Like, I love it. It is amazing ride in all conditions super fishable i mean look at the size of his cockpit massive live bait tank it's big enough that i can uh, go out you know wide it's good inshore it's small enough i can fish on my own but you can take five six guys out easy 
it is just brilliant. And it's pretty good on the fuel as well, actually. Love it. I will have this boat for a long time. No need to upgrade. Like, this is a 10-year boat for me. Oh, well, they're highly professional. They've given me superb service. I met them at a the Sydney Boat Show a couple of years ago and wasn't necessarily in the market for a new boat, but I was working out that maybe now is the time. So when I saw this, I thought, gee, that's just exactly what we need. So Freedom 325 it is. It's just, it's absolutely fit for purpose for me. Sam, absolute legend, yeah. Highly knowledgeable. Uh, yeah, great service. Yeah, I got a lot of time for Sam. Top bloke. Um, we've just arrived here back at base. We've got the barbecue sizzling. We've got the beers, beers on flow. We've rolled out the green turf. Uh, we've just finished doing the award ceremony. Uh, we, you know, we had, we had an award for just about every category. You know, despite how tough the day, you know, the day's fishing was. So um, it's a really good, you know, really good evening. The spirits are high. Everyone's having a really good time. All the owners are, are you know, are, 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 you know, connecting and telling stories about the day and. You know, really for us, that's that's what it's all about, and that's that's why we why we've put it on. We because we went south and we hey, bashed. Then you went north. No, we started south, but we bashed into the nor'easter yeah. all morning yeah. to get high, so that we yeah. came back. And yeah. back so we came back north of base. So four, four, three. I mean, you, I don't know whether you've just got some bait and done that, or so. What did you get? Spilled on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Woo! It's great. Yeah, it's great fun. Thanks, shorties. Unreal. Yeah. All the same, just, just right. rubbish. Right. Tuna, just rubbish tuna. Well, you won. <laughs> where are we going? You. So, Paul, Paul. <laughs> where, where are we going? Well, I was a bit worried, but I may have seen someone out there um, wrapping. Marlin. Uh, no, no, uh. wrapping. Um, line around the prop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got that on camera, bro. Oh, did you? <laughs> that was the skipper. Oh, back yeah. into the line. Yeah. Hey, Mars. Winners, the grinners. We had a side bet. Yeah, it's I understand. You lost. I lost. Gracious in your feet. We won, we won the drag out the head though, that's what's important. It was a, an event that we specifically, um, you know, structured in a way that it gave everyone the ability to enter and everyone the ability to, you know, to, to win, a, you know, to win award and, and participate properly. So, um, yeah, and, and coming back here today, you know, 13 different species of fish caught. I think that just shows that, you know, the diversity of the fish in this region and also shows the options that are out there for, you know, for our customers as a fisherman. Is that the um, no C2 rough, no muff, too tough show? <laughs> <laughs>